For this reason, this time around, it is history that will repeat itself when you come to winning election by the grace of the Almighty Allah. And now we are in democracy, so there is nothing like suspending election. Dr. Abdul Muttalib Muhammad is the leader of the Muslim Leaders Union of the Northern and Southern Region. He explained the purpose of holding what the conference. Is Our intention is that we are Muslims and Muslim preachers. That is why we gather the leaders of different sections, leaders of Sangaya, leaders of Zari, and all others in order to sensitize people about this agenda. About the agenda view. they have in that view. is ensuring that we choose a Muslim and a Muslim, what we call the Muslim Muslim ticket. The union we invited are about 75 in number, especially the Izala Union from Kaduna, Izala Union from Jos, Salafia, Kadaria, Tirjania, GTI, M1, Form 1, and women in Dawa, together with our Yoruba Muslim brethren that are here, our Igbo Muslim brethren with the union of all Ibo imams Muslim, of Kanu state. We rally round all the unions so that we can have good platform to pass this message what we show the leaders is that it is not a matter of we are coming to build road and infrastructure for you or the promise of giving you position what we are talking about is who will establish the dignity of islam and also uphold the respect of our religion this candidate support our religion for that reason we are with him when anyone dishonor our religion we will tell the people that we are not with him but the major issue we want to yes. tell people is that a Muslim, no matter where he is, is yeah. better than an infidel. And when you join two Muslims, they will give you the victory that one Muslim cannot victory? give you. This what is why is we victory? have been sensitizing the people to understand that the Muslim Muslim ticket is, a, is very serious and it's a jihad to us as leaders. The leader of Izala Union of Kano Region, Sheikh Abdullah Saleh, Pakistan, said this. Well, the discussion first and foremost was on the history of how this candidate has had his hunger of Muslim Muslim ticket for long. How he joined the Rebadu party with Muslim, a Muslim from their own region. All right, wonderful people. I hope every one of you listening very attentively to the reporter. And I know you can never disagree. But I know that some of our people, they are deaf in school. They can't even understand the mission and vision of Fulani people towards the indigenous people that they find themselves in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo. Now you begin to understand. I always bring authentic information to our people that there is no how you can ever dispute it except you lack ability to reason that is why i'm always here to tell you the reality because i believe in reality now you understand it now you heard it i hope your ear is open and if you don't understand this video please i want you to go back again and re-listen to it you will understand every point that these people made their mission and their vision. Now let me introduce myself so I will go in further. I will go more further. More details. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano. Here, here, we set the record straight. My name is Mazo Kenna Okechukun, known as the Bia Franchise in Washineke. The General, I hope you pay attention very well. But now, lend me your ear. You see, what you don't know, you can never know it. Most of our people don't know what is about to come. I keep on telling them about the movement of jihadism. But they think that I'm just like to talk. Now they have vindicated me. Now they have vindicated me about the movement of jihadism. They have said it. They invite up to 75 Muslims leaders to talk about how they will be, how they will take over. 
how they will start their mission in 2023. <clears throat> now you understand. They said they are not coming to promise you road or infrastructure. When we are talking about infrastructure, including companies, give you steady light, give you clean water, give you motorable road, they are not coming to promise you that. But they are coming to push their mission, to make their religion stance, <clears throat> to make their religion stance. And that is their goal. Now you understand. And I know you really understand what, that's, what that means. They said, the Muslim Muslim ticket to them means jihad. Now you understand what I'm talking about. I hope you're paying attention. I am not coming here to lie to you because I believe in reality, authentic information. I am not coming here to say things that you will like. But I'm coming to set the record straight. To tell you what is about to come. That you will remain slave in that contraption till thy kingdom come. If the bacchanization, disintegration, sees Nigeria to exist. If it never comes, the killing, adoption, kidnapping from the Fulanese that are coming from Sahel. It will continue. Without stopping, it will continue. And there is no how you can ever escape it. You can't. You can't. Now you understand. That is why I always tell my people to buckle their belt and embark on this journey of Biafran Restoration Project. Or some of you that find yourself in that contraction. Look for your roots. Search for your identity. Search for who you are. Search for who you are. You see? Now you begin to understand. That movement of jihadism movement of jihadism the conquest called holy war is a battle that they must carry out and they said they must conquer now you understand they are coming to conquer they are coming to make you slave forever they are coming to make you slave forever and there is no how you can escape it because they have been taken over they have sing their Quran into Atlantic Ocean. And I hope some of you have forgotten what Amal Bello said about the Middle Belt. They will, they, will, they will be a conquer territory. And the people from the South, they will never allow them to control their resources. In a sense, they will never allow them to make their own decision. They will keep on making decisions for you. And that is exactly what is happening today. Now you understand it. And I know that you are paying attention. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid and understand that these people that are coming from Sahel, Sudan, Somalia, Mali are trooping into that contraption to take over your land, take over your territory and make you slave forever. And they are coming with ethnic cleansing. If you stand on their way, your own is gone. Now you understand what these people <clears throat> are looking for. Now I hope you have, you, you have understand their mission in 2023. But some of you we are still going to be there sheepishly because of the idiocy in you people, because of the political ambition, because you want to be a slave forever. Mostly our governors and uh, the representatives in Digwe, Ndishi, Ndineria Kazu, they won't even make sense out of this. They said it Open, open. The Muslim Muslim ticket means to them jihad. I've been keep, I've been saying about this movement of jihadism. What do you mean by jihadism? Taking control. They call you infidel. Now you understand. You are no body to them. You are no as far as as far as Nigerian still existing you are nobody to Fulanis and you can never be anybody to them of course some of you will say no uh, that is not the way it is we are in charge we know what we are doing you knows nothing you knows absolutely nothing what is about to come the plan of these people because most of you are daft in school 
You don't even reason. That is why I'm here to make you reason. And I must make you reason. Okuna funa oko wade. Mazen nam dioku kanu chuku go ziego for opening our eyes. And we will keep on praying to chuku kikabiama to give you that wisdom and light and strength to be able to overcome your enemies. Now you begin to understand that even though the political uh the the the, the politicians in our land they are ready to testify the goodness of Lucifer. These people have gone beyond returning back. They have gone beyond. They have, you know, vandalized. They have already, you know, dismantled their, their backyard. And they have taken oath that they will never return. So don't wait for them to return. They are not coming back. We have to stand on our own. That is what I have. Good day.